Hello everyone, Kari Okami Fofo here, and I am now doing a let's play of Jet Set Radio Future. First we meet Korn, who was originally known as Tab in Jet Grind Radio, which was released on the Dreamcast. Yeah. But first we're going to start with a bit of tutorials on just the basic functions of the game. Gum, I believe, had the same name in Jet Grind Radio. I'm not too sure. You can correct, correct me on that later. But now she'll just help us out with the basic mechanics. Just a simple jump one. On when you grind, you can do two kind of tricks. You can either press the X button or the Y button. The X button will make, well, either one you pick will make you go faster. But there is a difference in the fact that if you press X repeatedly and do it well timed, you'll get more combos. But if you press the Y button, it's slightly slower and you will get less of an amount of tricks on the same length of rail but you will get a higher combo score of time 16 <laughs> whereas if you do it with the X button it's times 8 right now we will be learning how to do graffiti and there's one down there that's not there yet come on, done Also, a tip I will bring up, I will be doing a kind of 100% speed run of this. Now, two things in this game which I probably won't do unless requested. Which is, after chapter 6, as the game calls it, you'll be allowed to have a little battle with a few old gangs. But you don't necessarily have to... It's just a basic run around which I will show later when the game actually decides to show some of those challenges. Until then, let's meet the brand new version of Professor K. This is DJ Professor K, baby, the master of mayhem, you know what I'm saying? Bring you another Tokyo Underground Pirate Radio broadcast from Jet Set Radio. I'm gonna bust into your head through your cute little ears and blow your mind with my sexy voice and out of sight sounds. Those of you prone to nosebleeds should keep those tissues handy, suckers. Tokyo is being oppressed by the Rokaku Group, a mega enterprise headed by Rokaku Goshi. Rokaku is using his money and influence to mess with everything industry, society, and even our culture. And he's even got his eyes set on City Hall. Lately, Rokaku's been shaking down the government, passing that Rokaku law crap, even buying off the police department. This law ain't nothing but garbage. It's just some selfish little punk's way of trying to show you the big man. Rokaku and his gang are trying to stomp out our culture left and right. They don't give a rip about our rights. All they care about is profit. And some spineless fools have already become flunkies in that diabolical scheme. You better believe they're listening on this broadcast. But even in all this heat, there's a group of young kids who've been tearing up the streets. I'm talking about the roof. These kids have set up to bury Tokyo on the field. And now they're all wrapped up in their own little territorial tug of war. The hottest team at the moment is the GGs. There's Yo-Yo, a guy who blow your mind with silver yeah. tongue. And Gump, a real cool lady who leaves a trail of broken hearts wherever she goes. And let's not forget their leader, a self-styled genius that goes by the name of Korn. These three ain't your garden but right street punk. Know what I'm saying? Lately, Tokyo's been on one bad trip. The attack on the record store in Chuo Street, 
prowlers in Dogenzaka Hill, lowlife spreading vicious rumors, the mysterious blackout on 99th Street. And who should be following them around but the Rokaku Group's watchdog, <laughs> the Rokaku Police. With the Rokaku Expo just around the corner, the crackdowns are only getting tighter. <laughs> my heart ain't pounded like this since, since my first date. I was so nervous, know what I'm saying? I forgot to wear my underwear, baby. This ain't the time to be sitting around sipping after them tea. Game's gonna start soon, and y'all gonna be the one making the play. Oh, no, that, that's finally over. Now, unlike in Jet Grind Radio, you actually start off as Yo-Yo. Originally, you started off as Beat. And Yo-Yo joined you, well, Yo, 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 all right. Let's get this party started. I'll be your audience, so let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. Someone done stole the goddess in his face. The statue of Dogen Zaka Hill. I bet the punks who did this are the same ones who are spreading all them nasty rumors. Cover Dogen Zaka Hill and graffiti and flush out those rumors spreading scumbags. Okay. But, yeah, Yo-Yo joined you after you beat him in a race, I think. Yeah. But over here in this corner, we get our first graffiti sold. Graffiti souls, um, how should I get this? Graffiti souls allow you to have a new pattern of graffiti style. The ones that we have currently are default settings. I will show you how to get, well, change the graffiti style later on. Um, another one over here. You have the default graffiti souls, but you can also gather more graffiti souls by completing challenges and those challenges well you unlock those challenges once you get the golden record things I'm not sure how you call them I think the problem with tapes is of course but there's one in each area which I will also be showing where they are I better explain the graffiti. Each um, little circle thing represents the number of times you need to pull it off the graffiti or complete it. The red ones are small graffiti you can make. Orange is medium small. Well, sorry. Just small. Red's extra small. Orange is medium. The darker blue is a large, whilst the lighter blue rings are extra large. Time to flush out those rumor spreading punks. Give them my regard. And now we meet the new version of Beat. But first, before we do that, the golden record is hidden right there. Right. You don't really have to do much with him at this stage, just follow him and try and talk to him. Now surprisingly enough, this bit is quite hard to pull off. It just depends on how well your timing is. But it can be quite an awkward one to pull off. But then again, that's probably just me. I have no idea about you guys. Don't worry, this is the last time we got chase beat round. Okay. 
Oh, damn, I forgot about that. Oh, he's just basically telling you that that's a kind of start menu area. To complete that tag, you are allowed to basically bring a menu, save your game, and change character. But now, the game will introduce you to a new feature known as racing. Not quite obvious since he said race. Now this is a good idea if you know all the shortcuts or you have a lot of hands to basically get a good head start on him. Pretty simple really. Let's just see how well we do. Now there are many shortcuts in this area that you can take, depending. Okay. Also that little bar there at the bottom of the screen, basically represents your speed. The faster you are, the faster you are, you're obviously going to get somewhere. Not a good idea to have a lot of um, speed going when you're trying to do the grind or trick challenges. Especially in some areas you want to try and be slow while doing tricks. But you can control your speed by using the left analog stick and pulling it back. Now the basics of this part is just to knock them over and spray them. It's quite easy to just charge them. You don't have to boost or anything. Especially with these guys. But they will drop, well from every person you knock over they will drop two cans that represent five points. There's another thing I should mention. <laughs> Yeah, the yellow cans represent one can, while the Shibuya blue ones represent five. Shibuya Terminal has been some kind of ugly, freaky looking graffiti. Head to Shibuya Terminal and cover that stuff up with some real artwork, please! Not before I can get these challenges. Now this will be another thing I will do. Every time I can, well, do whatever I need to do in one area and I got the actual tape, I will do all the challenges as quickly as I can. You basically have five challenges, a special one, which is the one at the bottom, which is Avenue Long Grind. This area. You have the point challenge. The trick challenge which is a mixture of both grind and air tricks. The grind trick which is a given. The air trick is when you basically jump into the air and then perform the trick while doing it. Alright, I think we've got them all now. Other than the special, I think I have to 
I know I definitely have to grind down one of these um, rails down here. You got a great soul. I think it has something to do with this one here. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Oh well. Oh yeah, that reminds me. On the map, it, those little red things represent graffiti souls. The small little orange ones represent where graffiti tags are. And, well, if you see a blue dot, that also shows you where characters are as well. Purple ones represent areas that you have to tag, but you'll see them later. can be quite glitchy depending now that I think about it. Especially in this special challenge which is really so kind of just it. Go right to the top again and see if that works. The okay then. I think that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> 